one of my more favored uh, Revit tools, I mean, uh, the tools that, that just come with Revit without any sort of add-in is probably the alignment tool. And, and you can find it under modify. It's here. You can type in AL uh, to get to it. Or if you select a pipe, it'll throw you right into a modify uh, ribbon and you can get to it this way. Um, but in this video, I'm going to show you a few ways that I more commonly use this tool. Uh, certainly not exhaustive, but just some the more common uses for me and the alignment tool. So here I've got several different, and let me make this 3D so it's a little more clear, uh, a few different arrangements where I want to get you know, this pipe connected into this main, and I use the alignment tool uh, a great deal here to help. And uh, I'm going to use the, the section here, go into an elevation. What I want is I want to get this to where I can get a 90 degree angle right into this pipe and even though it's close here actually I'm going to exaggerate this a touch more so if I were to try to connect right into this main it would be an odd elbow up here and we could rotate the fitting here but be an odd elbow up here to get that connection made so I will use the alignment tool click alignment and I'm going to click you see that little dot up here in the center of the um, of that main pipe that's going to be what I'm aligning to. And then I'm going to click on the very end of this pipe. See, it pulls it right over. So from there, I could either manually draw from here down into that main, or uh, certainly if, uh, if we're using some sort of uh, you know, add-in tool, maybe this would uh, assist in getting exactly what it is you are after. So that's one use of it. Here's another one where I want this pipe to go directly into this pipe. You know, no, no riser nipple or anything, but if you look closely here, that line would actually just come across the top of the pipe. It wouldn't line up with the center here. So it would have to use some interesting fittings to jog it down, but I want this angle. I don't want uh, to change this angle at all. So I can use the alignment tool here as well. Again, clicking on the center line of that main, but instead of getting the very end, I'm going to get the center line running down the pipe. And now that moves into there. And if I use, this is actually another favorite tool, it goes right into it. Now, in, I'll go to the 3D view. This one was one way. I use a line to get the sort of riser nipple that I want, but I'm going to do another one here. And I want to get a riser nipple coming right down into here. And I'm actually going to do two here. Uh, one, then undo, and then I'll create another one. So I'm going to create, you know, whoops, that was a, a bad one undo. Create similar. And if I want this to come right down into the main, I can use the alignment tool yet again for this. And then I can connect it right down into it. Or perhaps this is what I want and I want a side outlet. Then I could use the alignment tool right here on the end to get down to this point and then connect right on into the main by whatever means, whether it's an add-in or some of the other drawing tools of, uh, of Revit here. In this case, because we've already got it lined up there, it'd be very simple to just use the uh, simple trim and extend tool to get that connection. So uh, the even though I've used trim and extend a couple of times in here, really the focus is the align tool and how much I use it to just get common connections going and how useful it can be to you whenever you're working things up. While it might be more apparent to use this on, you know, getting heads aligned with each other or something like that, I actually use it more regularly on pipes just to get everything lined up just so, so I can get uh, more common pipe routings into my project.